Peggy 3. Create is a game for all ages about creativity. It's both about visual creativity as well as creative problem solving. I think the thing we create that I'm most proud of is that we were able to take a series of tools, artistic tools, and put them in the hands of the player. I was a good example because I'm not an artist, so I had to find tools that I would be able to use. People need to be able to make these fantastic creations that they want to share online, they want to share with their friends, share with everyone. So when it comes to decorating the, the landscape itself, uh, we start off with a, what we call a texture brush, which enables you to actually paint materials onto the, into the scene itself. Uh, after that, we actually give you an option to place down what we call props, which can be things like trees, uh, vehicles, aircrafts, lampposts, cones. Creator's got 10 unique themes. Uh, we have a pirate theme, we have a theme park theme, we have a skate park theme, we have a future world theme, a space theme. We do give the player the option to mix and match those themes as well, you know. So if you want to go out and be completely outlandish, you can go out and create a, a skate park that's on Mars or a pirate-themed fairground. It's entirely up to you. In Create, we've got over 140 challenges for the player to solve. Challenges test different ways of thinking, different ways of being creative and different ways of solving problems. From the scortacular, which is more lateral and creative thinking, to the contraption nomatic which is more logical, focused thinking. So in scortacular challenges, it's all about how you want to solve that particular challenge and use all the objects you've unlocked to the game up until that point. It's all about the craziest and wackiest solution you can make. It's the part of the game where our rules are off and it's up to the player in how they solve that particular challenge. So away from the object challenges and scortacular part of the game is the contraption challenges. And these are where we give the player a selection of parts which then they have to build the solution to the problem. The contraptions are amazing because you can just build anything. You can spend hours solving one challenge one particular way and you're sort of pretty sure that nobody ever would have thought of solving it that way. Another type of challenge is the pickup party. And this is where we still have a challenge to solve and a set of objects to do it with, but it doesn't matter if I just solve it on its own. I also have to collect the sparks that are dotted around the landscape. This really gives the player another challenge to think about. It's not just about simply solving, they have to solve it in the extra interesting or extravagant way. The great thing you can do with all these objects that you're being rewarded with all the time for completing challenges with or finishing create chains is just use them in the sandbox and see what you can create or invent. It's your chance to go off the wall and go as wacky as you can. Set up a Rube Goldberg style domino rally across the level. Why not? It's up to you. The essence of create is that everything you do should be something you're proud of. Something that you want to share with your friends or share with the world. Whether that be a solution that you've created from a scortacula, or a contraption that you've created, or a creation, the way you've decorated your world. What's really great about Create is that one person can create a particular scene, perhaps, they can have a creation, and then another player can come in and remix that creation. So we had quite a lot of fun on the team, whereby, you know, perhaps I made what I thought was a really nice, perhaps a little bit girly creation, and then one of the other designers came in and he put a great big kind of octopus in it and remixed it into a bit of a pirate scene, and then another guy came along and made it into a bit of a, uh, a space scene. So as well as being able to share your creations, you can also share your challenges with friends and with the world. So you make your own challenge, I want to get this dodgem all the way across the level to kick this football into a goal. Fine, you can do that. And then share it with the world and then have ratings and uh, other people downloading and enjoying your particular challenge. We have a website create.ea.com and what's really cool about the website is that we'll be showing people's best work on there so we've got what we call EA picks which is basically everything that we think is absolutely awesome will appear on our website. Create's got so much in it, so many challenges, so many solutions, so many tools, so many things that you can create. I'm really looking forward to seeing what the community does with it, seeing what it does when it gets out there in the world. <laughs>